Hello everybody and welcome back to A Taste of Donegal. So we're continuing from where we left off last week and we're basically uh, working on the pigs and the beef. I did get to a, a, a situation last week where um, I didn't really know what to do and uh, I had to ask for advice from everyone who was watching my video and I got some good advice and that was that basically, if you remember the situation, uh, we had uh, the earth fruits and the maize grains which we had to give to uh, both of the different types of animals. The earth fruits was fine because we just gave them sugar beets I think and uh, yeah it just basically worked but the maize grains I was confused about because usually I give them wheat and that tends to work but then I was tipping wheat into the fill point and it wasn't doing anything at all and then because it says maize grains I thought oh it must be corn then but no that didn't work either but today I do know what to do and uh, basically all I was doing wrong it is still wheat that we need to give to them uh, but all we need to do is tip it from a trailer instead of tipping it straight from the bucket apparently if you do it straight from the bucket it doesn't recognize it uh, so you have to actually activate it by pressing Q to tip trailer into the fill point so uh, yes very very simple it's just um, I was uh, doing it wrong as usual I tend to uh, but that's why I've got people like you watching, because you can always keep me on the right track. So that should be enough. One bucket load should be plenty. Also, you might have noticed I have increased the game volume, because previous episodes when using this microphone, it has been a bit too quiet, and it has been pointed out. I did increase it slightly in episode 17 of Knaveswell, but it didn't really come across that I had increased it. So I've increased it a bit more. Let's stop that there. It's still rolling with the handbrake on. Hmm. I'm not sure why. But anyway, we've got the McCormick over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to go over there. There is only one issue with using this trailer. And that is the, uh, the stand, or the jockey wheel, whatever you want to call it, sits a bit too low for the track. And it tends to get stuck in the centre. So we're going to have to sort of drive half on the edge. I've done it before in Naveswell and it has actually worked quite well. It just looks a bit weird. So when we get there, this should work perfectly. Now while we're driving over there, I will just quickly discuss Facebook. And I have had a Facebook profile uh, for Daggerwin for quite a long time. It's been linked on my channel page and I've actually got, I think, over two and a half thousand likes on it which is incredible considering I've never actually mentioned it in a video uh, so obviously you've just been uh, the people who have liked it have uh, just gone off the channel page straight to it which is fantastic but yeah over the last year I've been very inactive on there it's been a relatively boring page so trying to bring it to life again I'm gonna po post on there regularly and uh, keep you up to date with things as soon as I can as soon as the video is released for example I'll get it out to you on there as well. Uh, so yeah, basically keeping you up to date a lot more than I am doing now. And I'm sure there'll be other stuff on there too. So I put the link below. It's also in the channel, on the channel page. So yep, it is Daggerwin, the page is called, obviously. Uh, you should be able to find it by searching for it as well. So please do head over there and start following. As you can see, we are getting stuck. Right, with that out of the way, we can now try this out. Really hoping it's going to work. I believe it will do, though, as more than one person has told me this is the way to do it. And has I have done it this way before, but, you know, I was just being stupid as usual. <laughs> I tend to. Right, here we go. It's tipping. I really don't know how much it's going to take. Right, okay, that is good. That is sufficient for six days. Now we just need to give it to the pigs, which are over here. Same thing again. We're going to have some leftover. I can hear those pigs in the background. And, uh, yes, 5%. That's annoying, actually. We could have emptied the trailer if, they, if we just had a few more. We could buy a few more. Mm, we could do. <laughs> I think we will do, actually. We'll buy a few more pigs, because they're not really that expensive. Okay, that is 70. It's a good number. 
hopefully that'll be enough for us to empty the trailer. Ideally, I want to take it straight back to the yard. Fantastic. So, we can go this way, I believe. This should also head back to the yard. And I do prefer going this way anyway, because you don't get stuck on the track quite so much. Yes, it's not as bad. And we probably don't necessarily need the Brantner trailer. It's just, you know, situations like that, it's very handy. So, yes, if money becomes really tight, we will get rid of it. But as it isn't really worth much anyway, it would probably be a silly idea getting rid of it. Right, so the rest of this video, depends how long it take actually, but we do need to give them some straw and I wouldn't mind doing some more mowing. Some of you probably don't like the idea of that, but it kind of does need to be done. We'll have to see how we get on. We could at least just choose a field to do. Kind of hoping to do some silage bales because before the end of this series, I would love to be able to buy some forestry equipment and do the forestry as I haven't done that yet and yes it's very expensive we do rent quite a bit I'm not going to be renting quite so much so we need to actually be able to afford to buy the equipment which means getting the money in the first place to be able to afford it and silage bales is a very good way of doing that so yes let's just jump into the Ford this is the 7840 just realized you can actually open the door from the outside on this I'll have to do it in the future Pull forward to here again, give ourselves some access, and they're already detached, so that is fantastic. Let's open the door, and we'll jump out. So the bit I'm not usually too good at is the bales, as you will have probably realised by now, especially after the last week's performance on Naveswell. Let's see if I can get two probably a really risky thing to be doing. Yes it is. <laughs> I just can't do it. I don't know why. I am so bad at doing round bales. Okay, it seems that there is a collision lower down on the bales, which is probably the reason why I'm struggling with them. But we do have two on here. They're not fully on the spike, but they should be okay. And I think we've got a tractor around here for the bale shredder. Yeah, we've got two. Oh, yeah, that's another job as well. We also need to spread some slurry on field number 10. We did start briefly, but quickly ran out. So, yeah, this needs to be done. We need to plant it again. And that'll most likely be maize. I think the John Deere is a good tractor to go for. Yeah, this person must get really bored just sitting in there all day long. Every episode is sat in there. And then we just sort of throw him out and we take over. So he doesn't do any driving. The cows seem to be happy. They've got their feed. Ugh, that is weird. Just got a body with no head. So let's try and get the first bale in. I did successfully do this for the very first time in Knaves World the other day. It was astonishing. Let's see if I can do it again. No. Uh, no, no, just no. I'll try it again. Yeah, I think... No. Collision might be a bit too high. It's easier from out of cab view, but it tends to roll out again if you go out too quickly. I'll try that. Mm, good. 
So that is our first bale in. It's going to be one bale per animal type. So one bale for the pigs, one bale for the cows, and that should suffice for now. Unfortunately, I don't have Follow Me working on a Taste of Donegal. I'm not sure why. Other people have said it works fine for them, but just not for me. Maybe I need to update the version. I'm not too sure. But we'll get it ready, in position, so that when we come back with the John Deere, we can literally just load it up and go straight away. Brilliant. Okay, let's go. This tractor might cope a bit better with this terrain because it's a, it's a taller tractor and I don't think the shredder has got the hitch at the front. Or the stand, I should call it. Yeah, that is much better. Beacons for off-road use. I love the bumpy tracks. It's just, yeah some of the, it's mainly the base game equipment tends to get stuck on it, on the ridge in the middle but when you've got a tractor like this with the, the pivoting front axle it always looks really good right then pigs, we've got some straw for you That should be okay. Oh, it didn't even take it all. Wow. I'm amazed by that. I've never actually done that, I don't think, and it's not accepted one bale. Because the the milking cows, the dairy cows, I should say, are uh, they, they do like their straw. But you can just keep going. And just keep giving them as many as you want. And they don't stop. So we might as well give them 5%, otherwise we're going to struggle to get the next bale in. And they will need water as well, we can always leave a job for next week. Yeah, it was hardly worth it. Right, back to the other yard, let's get it loaded up again. So to get into the right parking position, we're going to have to reverse from the field and then we'll pull forward again. That should be good. So let's get the second bale loaded up. We do actually have the extension mod running on bales and you can see that this is worth £140, which isn't fantastic but the price doesn't really matter for us as we're giving it straight to the livestock anyway. The thing which we're looking at is the quality. And the quality of this one is A+, so very good. I don't know if it actually does affect uh, the animal's performance if you give them bad straw or not, but there must be some significance to it on Farming Simulator. Here we go again. I can't do it. So bad at doing this. Well, it is in, and it took a lot of work to get it in. I always try and find a slope so that we can sort of roll it into there. I think actually it's rolling away from there, which is what's making it quite hard. Uh, but still, it is in. As long as it's recognising it, then that'll be fine. Yep. So, brilliant. Let's go over to the cattle and we'll give it to them. Then next week, we'll have to give them some water and also, I'm hoping to do some mowing to do these silage bales, they'll be wrapped bales uh, so uh, we might be able to do it all in one process actually, we might be able to mow and then almost immediately row it up and bale it, obviously we don't have the follow me mod running uh, so it just has to be me doing it as a fast process but yes in theory it should work it should be fast income for us which is what we desperately need anyway yes let's just go over here We'll be able to shred this into the cows. I don't know if it's going to accept it all, uh, but with a bit of luck, it will take most of it. 
I would have thought the cows would take a lot more than the pigs anyway. But no, they still have 37% uh, remaining. So what we're going to have to do is take it back to the yard, unless there is a storage point here. I'm not sure. It would be good. I don't know if there is a barn here, but it would be very handy. I suppose what we could do is take this back to our dairy cows and then just shred the rest into theirs, because uh, they will definitely require it. I don't really want to leave like half a shredded bale in the shredder. Especially if it's going to be left outside. So once this is done, we will take the shredder off and we'll replace it with the mower conditioner. As this tractor is the perfect tractor to do the mowing with. Yeah, this shoots it through the side of the shed, which looks a bit weird. But at least we've got rid of it. So, let's just reverse it into here. And we'll drop it off. I'll take the PTO off. And the mower conditioner, I had to reset because it was back to front as the tractor which was on it originally, we sold, I think. So, I couldn't really get to it. We'll also have to put that forward back in there to keep those bales dry. Um, and yes, that is the lime. I think it's lime. Is that lime? If it is lime, I, I don't think we should uh, do an episode without putting lime onto one of the fields because uh, I've never done it before. This is, of course, the tractor which sort of duplicates when you reset it. So if you're using this tractor, word of warning, <laughs> Or word, of, word of advice, don't reset it unless you want duplicate numbers of this tractor. Because, yes, it, it doesn't reset the original tractor and you just get loads of them spawning in this field. It's really weird, actually. But there's our mower conditioner. It is as central as it can be. So we're going to struggle to get it through some of the gaps, but we've done it before, so it shouldn't be too hard and we'll park this in the yard. Yeah, the mud mod would look really good on this map. You know, the effect it gives you. Like, it makes the tractors really dirty and the mud flies up around the wheels. It looks fantastic. But, yeah, I don't even know if that mod was out actually when this map was done. I don't think it was. So, we'll park it here for today, until next week. We'll have to find a field to do. I would have loved to use a Ford, but I don't think the Fords have got enough horsepower, which is unfortunate. There is something behind the trailer, so going to have to be quite careful here. Yes, there is uh, indeed, and I've pretty much hit it, actually. Oops. Uh, I should have looked at that first. So we'll just pull forward, and uh, we'll leave it there for today. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do join me again next week for more on Taste. But until then, thanks again, and bye for now.